All right. Thanks a lot. Mr. Ian, nice to see you tonight. Nice to see you too. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, pretty good. A little disappointed, obviously. Didn't, couldn't have gone as far as I'd hoped, but right. it happened. But this had to be such a really, really cool experience. What was the highlight for you? It was truly an amazing experience throughout all of it. I'd have to say the highlight was uh, Vegas, actually, when... I truly didn't think I was going to go through the entire last day, and so it was a really hard day for me. And then finding out I was going to end up in Hollywood was really an amazing feeling. What do you think about the people that said your act just you know, wasn't going to make it you know, to the finals, that there wasn't a big enough audience for it or something like that? I mean, do I mean, they just not understand yeah, competitive I mean, yo-yoing? I guess not. I mean, I just I have to disagree with those people because I think yo-yoing is uh, really like limitless, and I think that it could actually be a headlining show in Vegas with everything you can do with it. So where did the yo-yoing start? For for me? You? Where did you get the first yo-yo from? Um, when I was 10 years old, uh, my older brother's best friend was always really into it, and so I, I got first interested in it that way. Then I went out, bought a yo-yo, ended up looking on videos online and learning tricks from uh, myself on the internet, and then going to contests and learning from other people. And did your friends at first think, that's strange, we don't all do yo-yos, you know, yeah, this, this is odd. This is my friends definitely felt that way because like, it wasn't that popular. I mean, right. it was like every once in a while in gym class or whatever, but I kept with it, and now everyone obviously thinks it's really cool, so I'm happy I stuck with it. Absolutely. The yo-yo guy is on TV. Definitely. And is it, is it helping you with your, with your goal to, uh, you know, to meet the girls? I, uh, yeah, it is actually helping me. My goal to meet the girls. I'm getting a lot more texts. Yeah? Yeah. You said text, right? Text. Okay, I just wanted to make sure of that. Yep, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, you know, your life away from yo-yoing. Away from yo-yoing, I like to uh, play sports uh, such as lacrosse, basketball. I used to play hockey and baseball. Okay. I do pretty well in school, and I like to play guitar. What grade are you? I'm going to be a junior in high school. Okay, and after that, are you going to go to college? Are you going to join the yo-yo tour, or what, what I, uh, happens? Yeah, I plan on attending a four-year university somewhere, okay. and maybe even becoming a lawyer after that. So this is really just a hobby for you? It's a hobby as of now, but depending on uh, how far it takes me, actually, with performing and all that, I'd obviously like to make it more. You know, everybody's already out here campaigning for the, the wild card spot, so do you have a, a pitch to, uh, to the judges, to America, to bring you back? Bring me back, because honestly, I can bring something that no one's ever seen before with the other What is that? Uh, black lights, fire, anything, really. You can yo-yo with fire? I can light the string on fire, I can light the yo-yo on fire. Why didn't you do that? Maybe maybe it would have gone differently. You know, well, I, I had a little I had a little mishap with the lighting, but other than I was going to try and do the fire next round, but I didn't go as far as I thought. Alright, well, we'll look forward to that. Hopefully we'll see you back. Hopefully, definitely. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, also, 